Hi crafty friend, it's Justine. Yesterday I was just on Stamp Wars. You might have caught it over on Nancy Stamps channel. If you didn't, I just wanted to show you what I made. So Trinity Stamps was the sponsor. So Carrie Rhodes was with us. Um, when I say us, I mean the Foiling Snobs Club gals, which are Nancy Stamps, Chow, and Tracy. So we had a really fun time last night and I just fell in love with these little snowmans. I think I can't really pick a favorite from last night because I love all of them for so many different reasons. I love this one because of the foiled background and the shaker element and I really love these embellishments. And who doesn't love a fun sentiment? Tis the season to be freezing, sending warm wishes. And then um, my second card was this Christmas one with a foiled background, foiled tree, and then this really neat Christmas die. Love that. And then in the inside, it says, may your Christmas be filled with peace and joy. Part of the sabotages were that we had to have something in the inside of the card. So <laughs> there you have it. And then my third card, I did this one with the double foiling with the tree and the snow, and then die cut it out with the Spellbinders die. It is the Essential Floral Reflection. This one is a well-loved die. You can see I haven't really even put it away very nicely because I always am taking that one out. <laughs> and then I added from our family to yours on the inside of that one. So with inspiration from my three cards here, I was going to make one more and do an update video. Not too long of an update because, you know, I just saw you yesterday on Stamp Wars. So I'm going to start with my snowman people because they're so sweet. And I'm not going to die cut them out this time. I think I'm just going to do everything on one card panel. So we'll start with the snowman. And we're going to add some layers, I think. So first I need my ink. I did clean up <laughs> after stamp wars. My craft room always is a disaster after stamp wars because I really am not a fast crafter normally so when we are in the thick of it and needing to get done our tasks i am pretty quick with kind of tossing things around so there's that but now that my craft room is all clean i'm ready to craft again and kind of get things messy because you know that's just life plus yesterday morning i was at a craft fair so i had all of these bags and totes and it was just kind of like all over the place so it needed a little clean but there's that i did want to mention that trinity stamps is offering our foil snob club members since you watched stamp wars if you missed it by the way make sure to check it out but there is a coupon code that is 15 percent off all trinity stamp branded items excluding the new release stuff but that is all on the details in the description of Nancy's video, which is the Stamp Wars 33 with Trinity Stamps. So definitely check their uh, website out and take advantage of that discount. And if I remember correctly, there's also a deal where if you spend $35, you get a free die. There was a lot going on last night, so <laughs> I'm not sure if that's still happening or if I was just dreaming that or what but anyway don't mind the little birdie outside my window I have to appreciate them now before they fly south for the winter anywho <laughs> I'm gonna next go in with some Versamark with these little snowflakes and we are going to go with some heat embossing because I love that and these are little snowflakes so we're just gonna get sticky and dusty with our <laughs> embossing powder and we'll see how this turns out wait a minute i wanted to do no i'm going to do a, a dye sentiment so anyway some of these are probably going to get covered up and that's okay it's just to give a little interest to the background and that's kind of all i'm going to set these off to the side once i use them so i can clean the snowflakes off after i am done filming here this Versamark ink is super sticky, so they will need a clean. And I'm probably going to be trimming this card panel down to four and a quarter by five and a half, the A2 size. 
So some are gonna be close to the edge, but I don't know if they'll be cut off. We'll see. Anytime I'm doing something like this where I am multiple stamping different stamps like this, I try to kind of rotate my block as I go. That was such a teeny tiny snowflake <laughs> using this giant block, but you know, it works. Anyway, I'm just so happy that I was being, without well, was invited to be part of the stamp boards again. I just really enjoy crafting like that, especially kind of like a live challenge. I find that to be so fun. And if people are interested, I'd love to do kind of crafty nights on my channel, but I don't know, definitely not do a stamp wars because that's um, the foil snobs club thing. So I'm not gonna take their idea, but I'd love to do some, some live crafting because I don't know, when I first started out, I was like, you know, it'd be so fun to craft with someone, you know, at the same time that I'm crafting. So usually I'm crafting at night. So if you're ever interested in that, let me know. And maybe I will do some crafty time, maybe like a little live on my channel. Now I'm trying not to layer the <laughs> stamps on top of other ones, but let's be real. In an actual snowstorm, the snowflakes are all over the place, so this does not need to be perfect. I haven't added any of the coloring to this yet, but I will. I think that's all I'm going to use. There's still four more snowflakes, which is crazy. Three. Anyway, all right, well, let's grab some embossing powder and get to work. I think silver for this makes sense. I'm running a little low on silver, as you can see, but it'll do. I found my weird spoon. If you're a subscriber, you might have remembered my weird spoon. Here it is <laughs> in all its glory. I did not use the anti-static tool before this. I don't know, maybe I was just kinda feeling a little reckless, but I haven't really used my mouse pillow too much, so I'm not sad about it. Okay, I basically got it everywhere, so that kinda works for me. There is some gaps here, but I think we'll figure it out with a sentiment or something, I don't know. We're just gonna make it work. <laughs> just like on craft wars, you can't or stamp boards, you can't just um, start over and redo in the middle of everything. You just gotta work with it and keep on working along. Okay, I am gonna use this weird paintbrush that I have and just do a little dusty moment with a couple of the areas where I see the embossing powder stuck to, like right there. I need my bird to be dust free. Super simple as well. All right, well, next I think I will get my sentiment all ready to go. I have some lovely choices for my sentiments. They sent this one, which is the Simply Sentimental Holidays, which is a cutting and a cutting die set and it has the letters and the shadow which I really liked and I was kind of intrigued with this one that's kind of like a scripty handwriting so I'm kind of leaning toward that but I also really love the font on these two this one is kind of like a standard kind of Times New Roman and this one has the little curlies on the H which I really liked but this was so playful so, oh, I just don't know. And then there's this whole sentiment set that is the polymer, that is the Simply Sentimental Holidays, so it goes with this one. So if you stamp out these three, you're gonna get um, the die cut out with these words, oh, these four, which 
works really well because it's kind of a two for one. So you could have the die cut, say holidays like this, or you could die cut it out like that and use the same die. Well, for this one, I think I'm gonna go with the scripty one because I just am really feeling drawn to that. So we're gonna do a stamp and use the die for it just because I'm feeling extra fancy today. And I'll use my Misty again because why not? And it's already on my desk. <laughs> I'll put my little snowman people off to the side because I need to wash that one off too. Oh, it's in this neat. Okay. So I'm going to stick it on right about here and try not to like stretch it or anything. Just get it kind of nice. And then use some white paper. Ooh, it's a sticky one since it's a new stamp. They are sticky. All right, white paper, where are you? will do. Oh, should I do it with red ink? I think I'm going to be bold and do it with red ink because why not? I know I always use black and I think with this Christmas card, it just is kind of saying red ink. And one red ink that I've been using often is this one from Simon Hurley Crate. It is called Be Sting and it is red so it'll work here i might need to do this twice because this is an ink pad not an oxide i'm just gonna ink it up and get it going then i get to use one of my favorite tools in my craft room which was made by my husband my little impression stamper here it is. Let's see, do we need to do it twice? Why not? It does look really nice as it is. I think we're gonna do it two times. Just to make it extra, extra good, I don't know. <laughs> Be extra, you know? Someone says you're too extra, you can tell them to go find somebody less than, you know? Ooh, that looks great, okay. Then let's grab the die and get it all cut out. I just love that this is kind of like a two for one and kind of getting your bang for the buck, you know? Okay, and then I'm gonna grab my wire cutters since these are not pre-trimmed. I'm pretty sure these are my dad's and I just never returned them to him. So I'm gonna need to do that soon. Grab my own wire cutters and return these. Sorry, Dad, if you're watching. <laughs> okay, I'll just line it up. And then I think I'm gonna actually use my sidekick to die cut this out. It is the perfect name for that tool, sidekick, because I use it all the time and it's at my side all the time. It stays on my desk and you know, if something has permanent residency on your craft area, it's a good thing. Speaking of which, one more thing from Trinity Stamps is making permanent residency on the craft room desk. It is this tool. I don't know the perfect name for it, but it has a pokey side, which I love, and then a wax tip side, which is exactly what I needed because if you're... My subscriber, you know that my wax tip, my other one, is Dusty Crusty, and it needed to go. So I am thrilled that that came from Trinity Stamps, and so now I have a nice pickup tool to use. All right, here's my little sidekick in action. Don't mind the used little crack tape there. Don't we all have that on our machines? I don't know. <laughs> I 
certainly have a lot in my platinum machine. Okay, anyway, see how easy that was? Look at that. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the coloring. I'm going to get some of this out of the way so I have some room to color. For the coloring, I am probably going to speed it up when I am editing because, y'all, you know, we're going to be here for like an hour otherwise, and I don't know if anyone wants to watch me color for an hour. So I am going to go ahead and speed it up, and I'll probably be listening to a podcast as I color. Well, I finished coloring. It was not an hour, <laughs> but it was um, a few minutes, so I did speed it up. So here are all the colors, just in case you didn't catch them. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. But there is a look at my coloring. Try to do a little shadowing, but not go crazy. All right, I need to trim this down to be a little bit smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to... Let's do four here. Yes, sadly, some of those snowflakes are going to get trimmed off. And then here I'm going to do an eighth of an inch on both sides so I don't trim off any of the birds. Just like that. Could I have done that before doing all the stamping? Probably, but did I know? It's just fine. Okay, so now I realize that it just says holidays, so I need something like happy holidays. So let's grab this little happy here. I knew that they'd have something for me. They're just going to leave me high and dry. Okay. Happy holidays. Let's sneak that happy right in between the H and the O and the L. And then maybe let's add another little sentiment. Happy holidays. Hmm. I 
I kind of like the from our family to yours, so we're going to do that one too. We're just going to be a little extra today, like I said before. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I am going to use my Misty because I'm going to use that, these little stamps, so I like to just have those on there just to be certain that everything's going to be good to go. And I think with this, I will use my Memento Black and have that kind of work with my holidays. So we need from our family to yours and we also need Happy. I'm going to put them kind of like this and you'll see why in just a minute for trimming reasons. And hopefully everything will be straight-ish. Straight enough, we'll just say straight enough. <laughs> Memento Black Ink. For whatever reason, the cover on that is a little more intense than other ink pads. Maybe because it's water-based and it might dry out. I don't know. But every time I take it off, I get ink everywhere. <laughs> but it's very good for Copic coloring and usually I just have to stamp one time so I appreciate that this is such a cute little font it's like a typewriter we're going with that okay and then I'm gonna trim it down now for this I'm using my Tim Holtz mini trimmer cleaned my craft room and now I can't find my my toys. <laughs> Does anyone relate to that? Okay, I've got my happy here and it looks like I did stamp my happy a little crooked. So that's always lovely. Um, I'm just going to eyeball it and hope for the best. Worst comes to worst, we're going to have to re-stamp, but I think it'll be fine. You know, it's a little crooked and we're just gonna, we're just going to go with it. Since it's already crooked, we're just going to make it look like it was intentional. And that's okay because these little snowmen people are kind of cute and playful. So our sentiment can be kind of a nod to them being cute and playful. So yeah, that's pretty diagonal and that's okay with me. Happy holidays from our family to yours. Let's see, that's the straight line. So let's see if we can, well, we'll make it crooked too. Why not? <laughs> let's use the term wonky. That sounds way better than crooked. Crooked to me reminds me of like a pirate story from a children's book. Like, oh, he was a crook. Anyone else? No, just me. I do read a lot of children's books as a kindergarten teacher, so part of the job. <laughs> From our family to yours, happy holidays. I am going to trim just a little bit more off of this part from our family to yours because I think it's just a little chunky on the bottom. Aren't we all? <laughs> okay. We're just going to go rogue and cut this down with my scissors. <laughs> Sounds like the neighbor kids are having fun out there. It is so nice because I know that once winter comes, everyone's going to be in their homes freezing. 
and not doing a whole lot of playing outside. I don't know, for whatever reason, our neighborhood kids don't really enjoy playing outside very much. At least I don't see them playing outside too much. Okay, happy holidays. I'm loving the way that this has turned out so far. It is so, so adorable. Okay, well, next I'm going to stick it on to this beautiful green mirror cardstock. I wish one day that Spellbinders would come out with every single color of mirror cardstock because I, I need it. I need all the colors and I... <laughs> I need all the colors in glitter paper as well because there is never enough glitter. Oh, this is my broken one. <laughs> we'll use the other one. There's never enough glitter and sparkly and shiny things on a card. I know we did talk about that on Stamp Wars. It's like there's never enough glitter or embellishments. No, sir. Or ma'am. <laughs> but I think that the shinier, the better. Speaking of embellishments, we're going to add some really fun ones. Now, Trinity Stamps sent me these three, so let's just take a look. There's this one, which is the Bowels of Holly. There's this one, Bubbles, Bubble Blowout, which I am obsessed with these. I put them on two of the three cards from last night, and... I think that these will also have permanent residency on my desk because I don't think that they're just Christmassy. The other Christmas ones will probably go in my embellishments and I'll pull them out for Christmas cards, but those are just fabulous. Anyway. <laughs> <coughs> and then there's also this one called Deck the Halls, which if you look carefully, there are pine trees and holly pieces and then red circles so it's kind of fun I think I'm gonna go with these ones since I used this embellishment pack last night and these I didn't get a chance to use these yet so let's pop them open looks like they're kind of like sequins oh my gosh they're so pretty oh they're so shiny okay here we go I <laughs> said they're so beads which I don't know where that came from but <laughs> they're so beads they're not beads, by the way. And then I'll use my lovely little wax tool from Trinity Stamps. Is there a right and a wrong way? Well, it looks like there's an emboss side and a deboss side. So let's, I'm going to take a second and get all of the emboss side up first. And then we shall glue. I think that having them frame the sentiment would be kind of fun. And I'll work in odd numbers because that makes sense to my head. So we'll do five leaves. They really load these containers up, by the way. I was kind of surprised. <laughs> you might have caught it. I opened up this one on camera and it was like, <laughs> just kind of exploded. So um, it was not hard to clean up or anything, but I was just impressed because sometimes you get embellishments from different places and maybe it's a baggie and the baggie is kind of like a quarter of the way full. No. These are packed. So I think I'm going to be able to make a whole bunch of projects with these and I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. It was so neat to see everyone's projects. I loved seeing them. And my favorite part about Stamp Wars is hearing the end when everyone just says what they did. And it was so neat to see Carrie Rhodes on Stamp Wars 2. <coughs> <coughs> it was so neat to see Carrie Rhodes on Stamp Wars. I think I had just like a brain fart and I thought, Oh, I haven't met her, but I've met her online. We've corresponded before. She's posted on the Maker Group. Wonderful things. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm terrible with names. And like, 
if you gave me a lineup of like four people and said pick out like Brad Pitt or I don't know I'm terrible at celebrity names and I'm terrible even worse with names in general so I was asked at the beginning if you ever met her and I said no and I felt like such a dingling because as we were going I'm like oh my goodness that's Carrie I know her so mm, I'm so sorry <laughs> Carrie I already messaged her and we talked about it but anyway turns out we have a lot in common which is extra fun so anywho should we add something to the inside of the card just as another nod to last night hmm I think I will let's use this holiday stamp that I was intrigued about this one and then I'll Copic color in the letters because I'm feeling extra today feeling extra because Trinity Stamps was so generous with all the stuff that they sent us for Stamp Wars and again I felt very honored to be a part of it again it was not supposed to be that way it was kind of a last minute switcheroo so I was very glad we'll do holidays down here like that stunning look at how cute that is that is how I used to write when I was in high school, thinking I was all that in a ham sandwich and <laughs> add like that extra little line. And I thought it was so artsy and fartsy and so cool. <laughs> oh boy, those were the days. Anyway, I'm going to take the little happy from before on the front and I'm going to use Bee Sting and Be Bold and stamp a red happy in the inside of the card and we're just gonna do it once if I had my act together I probably should have done this before but you saw on stamp wars last night my oops mistake and I don't know I think it'll be fine this time famous last words look at that it was fine see if I can do that you can you also might have noticed during the episode I had to double stamp because I messed up my sentiment for the inside of this card I think yes I am terrible at double stamping yet somehow this turned out miracle that's all I have to say about that <laughs> okay I've been throwing my caps down and I'm trying to get better at that but you know I'm only human this was G05, and I'm just going to put it on the top, and then I'm going to come in with G17 and fill in the bottoms. Not to take forever to do a blend, because this is the inside of the card after all, but still special. I really don't do a lot with the inside of cards typically especially because it's very easy at craft fairs and such just to say like yeah the inside's like right whatever you want but this has been kind of fun and it was a sabotage last night so I'll just carry it through today's work and <laughs> there we have it I love it look at how sparkly it is with that detail of the embossed snowflakes and the little embellishments and the green mirror cardstock just so fun Anyway, thank you again to Nancy and Chow and Tracy for having me on Stamp Wars. Thank you to Carrie for all of your sweet kindness and for being a representative for the sponsor, Trinity Stamps. So I am forever grateful. That was a really fun experience and I hope I can do it again. We'll see you next time on my channel. I do have a few more videos coming up this month. So stick around and... Hopefully you like what you see. If you do, hit the like button and let me know in the comments what card was your favorite. Was it this one I made today or was it one I did on Stamp Wars? Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye crafty friend.